Hello, in our previous video, we saw that how to find out dihybrid cross and its phenotypic and genotypic ratio. And we saw that to find out the genotypic ratio, it is very hard because we have to count the number of alleles and write down here and it is so much time wasting. So, I, today I will tell you one more way to find out the genotypic ratio. For this, you must know what is the monohybrid cross and its genotypic ratio. So, monohybrid cross means cross between the one character. So, the genotypic ratio comes out to be 1 ratio 2 ratio 1. And what is 1? 1 is capital R capital R, 2 is capital R small r because in genotypic ratio the number of alleles comes out to be 2 capital R and small r comes out 2 times so we write here 2 and small r small r only 1 times so we write here 1 and now to find out the genotypic ratio of the dihybrid cross we will use this formula so 1 upon 4 capital T capital T because here we had taken capital T capital T for tall and small t small t for door so 1 by 4 here capital R capital R it is so here also we will take capital T capital T and 2 by 4 capital T small t and 1 by 4 small t small t and now for 1 by 4 capital T capital T we will do how many times is more capital W capital W capital W small w and small w small w will come so we will write like this and for this also we will write like this and for this also we will write like this and now we will multiply these two and write here we multiply these two for example 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1 upon 4 then it comes out to be 1 upon 16 and capital T capital T here we will write and capital W capital W here we will write so like this we will multiply all this and without count, counting the number we get the genotypic ratio like here 1 upon 16 here we get 1 and 2 upon 16 here we get 2 and 1 1 you will count this and write it here the both the genotypic ratio will become the same so this is this formula you cannot use in board but it will be helpful in NEET exam and the AIMS exam because in NEET exam and AIMS exam our main focus is to solve more questions within less time so if you solve like this you will take less time but if you solve like this then you will require more time and in during the exam the time is very precious so you should solve like this this is the shortcut trick for finding out the genotypic ratio for the dihybrid cross